I want to just take a few moments this morning to speak to us on the church's final mission. We're going to start with Matthew, the 24th chapter, and we look at verses 3 to 14. The Lord gave many signs, and I just want to focus on what he said in verse 14. That this gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, the good news of the kingdom, will be preached in all the nations. And then the end will come. The gospel has reached all nations. Never before in history has there been so much of proclamation of the gospel through all kinds of means that we have. But what is interesting is the word nations, Jesus used the word ethnos, which literally means tribe or people groups. So he says, this gospel will be preached to every tribe or people group. And in the Great Commission, which we are all familiar with, in uh, Matthew, the 28th chapter, and he not only told us to go preach the gospel, he also told us to disciple the nations. So that is the church's final mission. He's, he's kept us here. So look, I've given you work to do. Go get the good news out and disciple those who respond. Just to mention very briefly here the difference between evangelism and missions. Evangelism is something we're all called to do, which is to share the good news. But you share the good news with people all around you. That's evangelism. You're bringing the good news to somebody. But missions is different in the sense that we are taking the gospel to people or we are being part of that process of getting the gospel out to people who have not had the opportunity who do not have access to the gospel. I want us to understand about how much is left to finish the Great Commission. We'll talk about some numbers. There are 17,413 people groups in the world, out of which 7,387, that is 42%, are classified as unreached. What do we mean by unreached? That means these are people groups where they don't, they're not enough followers of Christ to have a self-sustaining evangelism happening amongst themselves. They're not enough believers in that people group. There are approximately 44,000 Christian denominations. That is, you have six denominations for every unreached people group. There are 700 million evangelical Christians, which means there are 95,000 Christians for every unreached group. There are 4.5 million Christian congregations in the world. That means you have approximately, and these are approximate numbers, 610 congregations for every unreached people group. Lastly, there are approximately 4,900 Christian mission agencies, sending agencies. That means you have 0.5 agencies for every unreached people group, or that simply means every agency has to adopt only two unreached people groups and we'll get the work done. Are you listening? The point is simply this. The work seems great, but the church has what it takes. There are two problems, not problems, but some things that we have to keep in mind as we think about this. That major, majority of the unreached people groups are in India. The second point we have to keep in mind is that much of the church's current spending and activity and efforts is on people who have already been reached. So our focus has to be on where the people are. We, the church in India, have to take up other responsibility for this final mission of the church. This gospel 
must be preached among all people groups. So if you want to break down this whole process of bringing the good news and discipling these people groups, there are three ways that you and I can be involved. We can reach, we can equip, and we can support. What should you do? What should I do? I'm not here to tell each one of us, you know, this is what you should do. That's not the point. The point is, God wants each one of us to do something. We are part of the church. And this is our mission. That the gospel must reach every unreached people group.